Let's walk through a word problem that I see often and I see students asking about. So this is, this is a common word problem in algebra. The sum of five odd consecutive numbers is 145. And the problem asks, find the numbers. I'm a big fan of pattern recognition. So here's the two clues that I'll tip you off for how to start this. Odd, consecutive, and sum. There's actually three clues. These are the big ones. So we could pick a variable to, we want to figure out these five numbers. We start with a variable. You could do X. I like N for consecutive numbers. So we're going to start with N. Odd, odd consecutive numbers is another clue. If it was just consecutive, you're adding one, right? Because three, then four, then five. But odd, it takes plus two to get to the next odd. So we're going to say N, and then it's N plus two, then N plus four, N plus six, N plus eight. But it's saying the sum of these five odd consecutive numbers equals 145. So we're going to do this. N plus two is the next odd consecutive number. N plus four is the next odd. So we got one, two, three. N plus six is the fourth. And N plus eight. And then it says the sum is. Is means equal to. So we, we set an equation equal to 145. Now we want to group like terms. So we'll say group like terms. I got one, two, three, four, five N, right? Two plus four is six. Six plus six is 12. 12 plus eight is 20. And then we set that all equal to 145. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting close. We got a nice clean two-step equation. We're going to subtract 20 from each side. So we have 5n plus 20 minus 20 equals 145 minus 20. These 20s cancel, and we have 5n equals 125. We're going to divide each side by 5 to isolate n. These cancel, we get n equals 25. So that means n is our first consecutive number of the 5. Then the next one is going to be 27, because we add 2. 29, we add 2 more. 31, add 2 more. And then we got 1, 2, 3, 4. Last one is 33. So if you add all these numbers up, you'll get 145. And that's it.